All right, let's go up a notch and try another one. Let's try solving x squared plus 3x plus 4 equals 2. Now if we do this, we're not going to like this 3. Here's why. Uh, let's see if this is a square. Let me start drawing a square. The x squared piece is fine. That must come from x times x. But this 3x piece must come from two pieces of the same. So it must be 3 halves x and 3 halves x. I'm in fraction land. Now I can push this through and do it with fractions. If you want to go ahead and try it, fractions are fine. But let's, uh, let me uh, show you a little trick to, to avoid fractions if you're really fraction phobic. The problem is that this number 3 is odd. We can make it even just by doubling everything. Let's look at instead 2x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 4. This is fine. Now I'll try the box again. But then I've run into another problem. This 2x squared piece. Where's it coming from? Now I could say x and 2x, but the trouble is that's not a square. I've destroyed symmetry. Although the 6x would be great, 3x and 3x, I've now ruined this piece. All right. Well, maybe multiplying by 2 to make this 3 an even number was not quite the right thing. Let's try instead multiplying throughout by 4. And that will have magic consequences. Let me show you what I mean. All right, let's take x squared plus 3x plus 4 equals 2, multiplying by 4. 4x squared plus 12x plus 16 equals 8. Let me try drawing a perfect square for this one. 4x squared piece. Well, the 4 is nice. That's coming from 2x times 2x. Symmetry is preserved. I'm heading for a square. This 12x, I can still handle it. It's even. This must be 6x and 6x. Grand. There's two pieces of the same adding up to 12x. And I'm staying in whole numbers because I'm fraction phobic, apparently. And next, what number must be up here? Something times 2x equals 6x. That means this must be 3. Ditto, this must be 3. 3 times 2x is 6x. Which means the magic number I want is actually 3 times 3. 9. Alas, I have 16. But that's not a problem. I can make things work the way I want them to work. To make this a 9, let's subtract 7 from both sides. So now I'm dealing with the equation 4x squared plus 12x plus 16 minus 7 plus 9 is 1. And why did I bother going through all this work of making a perfect square? Well, it's because I can see a square now. This is really 2x plus 3 squared equals 1. It's really just a level 1 problem in disguise, and I've avoided dealing with fractions, at least up to this point. Okay, let's finish off solving it. Something squared is 1. That means that something better be 1 or negative 1. The two square roots of 1, that is. So 2x plus 3 is the square root of 1, or the negative version, negative 1. Subtract 3 throughout. 2x must be negative 2 or negative 4, which means halving x must be negative 1 or negative 2. There we have it. The solution is this problem, uh, x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 2. Grand. So if you see an odd number in the middle and you really don't want to do with fractions, I'm going to suggest you try multiplying by 4. Uh, let's go up one more notch. This will be the hardest there is of all problems whatsoever. Here goes. And since I'm making it up on the spot, let's hope my numbers are not too drastically miserable. Let's try solving 2, oh, let's not make it 3x squared minus 5x uh, plus 6 equals, and let me just be kind of nice to myself, 4. All right. I don't like this one for two reasons. Number one, there's an odd number there. One way around that is to multiply throughout by 4. Let's do that. And then you'll see my second reason why I don't like this one. 12x squared minus 20x plus 24 is 16. Great. Now I want to see if this comes from a box. But the trouble is, 12x squared is not a perfect square. Huh. Well, it would have been a perfect square if I multiplied everything by 3, because then I'd have 3 times 3 times x times x here. So that suggests maybe I want to multiply by 3 as well. I've already multiplied by 4 to deal with this guy. Let me multiply by 3 to deal with this guy. That now gives me 36x squared minus 60x plus, uh, gosh, what is this, 60? 72 is, times it by 3, 48. This, I think, is fine. I have a perfect square at the very beginning. I have an even number in the middle, and I think I'm good to go. 
So if I draw the box, do, 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 do. here goes, 36x squared must come from 6x and 6x. Two pieces the same that combine to give negative 60x. Must be negative 30x and negative 30x. Which means that something times 6x is negative 30x. This must be negative 5, negative 5. Which means the magic number I want is actually negative 5 times negative 5, 25. I have 6. Okay, I can handle that. That suggests I need to add, uh, add 19 to both sides. Whoops, not what I'm saying. I have, I take it back, I have 72. Silly, silly me, I'm looking at the wrong spot. That suggests I need to subtract something from both sides. I need to subtract a big number. Uh, I need to subtract uh, 67, 47 from both sides. All right, here goes. 36x squared minus 60x. Subtracting 47 makes 25 equals 48 minus 47, 1. Why well, have I done all this work? because it's 6x minus 5 squared in disguise equals 1. Which means 6x minus 5 is 1 or negative 1. 6x is 6 or 4, which means x is either 1 or 4 sixths, 2 thirds. Voila. Completing the square is fabulous. Of course, we're now just a hop, skip, and a jump away from solving the quadratic formula, getting deriving it in general. Maybe that's worthy of another video. Thanks very much.